Hello, everyone, and welcome back from the break. My name is Dr. Kim Nichols, and I am Director of the Division of Cancer Predisposition at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I'm so sorry that I cannot be with you today. However, my co-moderator, Dr. Mark Perdue, will assist with leading this session. Dr. Perdue is a senior investigator in the Occupational and Environmental Epidemiology Branch in the Division of Cancer Epidemiology and Genetics at the National Institute of Health. Due to his tremendous expertise in the area, I know that Dr. Perdue will do a wonderful job coordinating the panel discussion and moderating any questions. This session will focus on environmental exposures in pediatric cancer. As many in the audience know, exposure to specific environmental agents, such as toxins and infections, has long been thought to play a role in the development of childhood cancers, particularly in individuals who harbor predisposing germline variants. Nevertheless, it has been very challenging to identify the causal environmental agents, in part due to the rarity of childhood cancers. Furthermore, it has been very challenging to obtain the relevant biospecimens um, with which to examine environmental exposures, especially those that occur during critical periods of childhood development that are most likely to influence cancer initiation and or progression. During today's session, we will hear from three excellent speakers who will touch upon this very important topic. First, we will hear from Dr. Michael Scheuer. Dr. Scheuer is a professor at the Baylor College of Medicine at the Texas Children's Hospital. His presentation will focus on the current understanding of the epidemiological evidence regarding the associations between environmental exposures and pediatric cancer. Our next speaker will be Dr. Joseph Wemels, professor at the Center for Genetic Epidemiology and Associate Director of Shared Resources within the Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center at the University of Southern California. Dr. Wemels will provide insights on what we have learned from molecular epidemiologic studies on tumor genetics and epigenetic changes due to environmental exposures. Finally, we will hear from Dr. Lauren Petrick. Dr. Petrick is Associate Professor in the Department of Environmental Medicine and Public Health and Head of Untargeted Metabolomics within the Senator Frank R. Lautenberg Environmental Health Sciences Laboratory at the Icon School of Medicine. Dr. Petrick will discuss how the metabolomic and or exposomic signatures that exist around the time of birth can be interrogated to predict the onset of diseases later in life, including childhood and adult cancers. Please note that full, bio, full bios for the speakers are available on the workshop website. So these three presentations have been pre-recorded and will be played consecutively. This will then be followed by um, a panel discussion, which will be moderated by Dr. Perdue. As a reminder to the audience, you know, we very strongly encourage your involvement in the workshop. So please use the chat box on our website to ask questions or make any comments. Without further ado, we will start with Dr. Scheuer's presentation. <laughs> 